Hey guys, it's Mrs. A here, and I'm going to show you how to check out books from my classroom library using the iPad that's in our classroom. So the iPad home screen will look like this, and if you're unfamiliar with the iPad, I'm just going to show you a couple of features. This button down here is the home button. You click this once to come back to this screen. So if you were to come up to the iPad and it was not at this screen, you simply need to click this once and you'll be back here at this home screen. You can swipe with your finger to get to the different apps that are on this iPad. For right now, we're only worried about this app, which is the app that we're gonna use to check out books. And it's titled Homepage but it's the home page for our classroom book list. That's where we'll go. This little dot over here on the iPad is the camera. Again, we don't really need that, but you, we might in the future for an app. So here's how you check out a book from my classroom library. First thing you're gonna do is touch this app, and up is going to come the home page. This is the home page for the app where I have um, loaded all the books in my classroom into an online database so then you can check them out using your name. So the first thing you're going to have to do is touch login and the username and password is just a general username and password that all of you will use. The instructions for this are also located on the bookshelf and over by my desk by the iPad and the username is listed there. But the username is Mrs. Albrecht 190 and you'll notice that when I touched the space this keyboard popped up so then you can start typing and the password is Holmes which stands for Hidden Oaks Middle School and then the word sixth as in sixth grade and then I'm going to touch go and then you come to a page where you have to choose teacher page or student page obviously you want the student page. If you were to touch the teacher page it's going to ask you for another password which you don't know so it doesn't do you any good. So you just want student page and then here is the screen that you get to see to check out. So if you're checking out a book you're going to touch check out. If you're returning you're going to check return and I'm going to show you both. First we're going to check out and you have to find your name and all of you are listed in here first name last initial. So if I scroll up, you can see everybody in the A's to the B's that is in class with me. Maybe you saw your name. Um, but we're just going to go right um, here. We'll go with Abigail. Let's say Abigail's going to check out a book. She clicks her name, the blue linked text. And this is where you can either view my book list, so see all the books that I have in my library, or you can actually search for a specific book. So I'm going to show you both. So if you just do view book list, you're going to get all the books in my library. And um, a lot of the books have images, so you can see the front cover. Some don't, but a lot of them do. So here's the things you can see. You can see sometimes an image, the title of the book, um, the level of reading level, author, the ISBN, and how many pages um, are in the book. And you can scroll through, and you can see there's many pages. I think I have over 800 books in here. So this is not the most efficient way to check out a book. It's just to search through the list. Your best option is to find the book on the shelf that you want, bring it up, and actually search for it here in the search box. So I'm going to touch the search box, and the keyboard's going to come up. Let's say I want to read... Um, the book, So Be It. So I'm going to put in So Be It, and then I'm going to touch Search. And it's going to see, oh, it doesn't have that book. Well, we'll search a different one then. Um, let's try, go with the theme in the room. Let's try Twilight. Click Search. Let it think. And then you can see that it has Twilight. And you can again see an image, the title, the reading level, the author, ISBN, and a page count. So let's say this is the book that Abigail wants to check out. She's going to touch the blue link, check out. And then this book is now checked out to Abigail. And <clears throat> it says, get ready to read, you've checked out, and the book. And Abigail can keep this book for two weeks. 
and everybody can check out two books at a time. And this system sends me emails letting me know, hey, these 10 kids have books that are due shortly, and um, we'll go from there and get them returned. So we're finished with Abigail. Let's say it's two weeks later, Abigail finished the book and now she wants to return it. She's going to log in just like she did before, get to this page, click return. She's going to find her name. The names are all going to come up. She's going to touch the blue linked text of her name. And it's going to show her that she has however many books checked out. So it might, if she has two books checked out, however many books she has checked out, it's going to show us that. And then she's going to click the blue linked text return. And then I'm going to ask Abigail, would you please rate this book? What would you think of it? Abigail's going to say five stars. I loved it. And then she's going to click continue. Way to go. You returned it and finished. Easy as that, guys. Um, no books can leave the room without being checked out. So make sure you come up to the iPad, read the directions. Once you do it a couple times, you'll get it. But don't take any books out of the room unless you've checked them out. And this includes picture books, poetry, nonfiction, the big fiction shelves, anything. you got to check them out. So let's try it out.